three days away. Three days away. Three. It could all sounds like a cheer, doesn't it? Well, just think come Monday, we'll all be able to say we were here when Idaho's legislature was in session for the longest string of days ever. Hoping to avoid that ranking, lawmakers continue their whirlwind of action down at the state house today. And chances are things are happening so fast. If you blinked, you may have missed it. That's why we have Joe Paris here for us. There's a very real goal for Idaho lawmakers to essentially get their business done for the year by late tonight or maybe even first thing tomorrow morning. And it's just kind of a wait and see kind of thing. Some lawmakers, though, not really convinced and believe the developments throughout the day today indicate there's still some work, legislative work to be done beyond tomorrow. It is kind of wait and see, but Joe Paris shows us one group of lawmakers says the session is just out of control, so they tried to just wrap it up this morning. Madam President, Senator Burgoyne. Thank you, Madam President. I move that the Senate now adjourn sine die. Madam President, second the motion. I request a roll call vote. A sudden move on the Senate floor Wednesday morning. Idaho Democrats moved to adjourn for the year. The motion to adjourn failed on a vote, but Idaho Senate Minority Leader Democrat Michelle Stennett says the motion sends a clear message from Senate Democrats. We just said enough already. Somebody's got to stand up and be the adult in the room. This can't continue. If you're not willing to do what we were sent here to do, what our people asked us to do, we have no business staying here. We're off the tracks. We, we are a runaway train and we're, the, we're off the track right now. Minority Caucus Chair Democrat Janie Ward Engelking says it is frustrating to watch new bills printed and heard as recently as this afternoon after Democrats were told weeks ago that it was too late in the session to consider things like funding all day kindergarten. She says she continues to hear the same comment from Idahoans. Get the big items done. What we need to do is pass the budgets, balance our budget and go home. And the people in my district are saying you need to do the people's work and go home. This is ridiculous. We didn't elect a full-time legislature. We don't want a full-time legislature. The Democrats' move to adjourn for the session was met with less enthusiasm by Republicans. They argue there is still important work to be done. I don't understand why we'd have this uh, motion on the floor at this time. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do for the people of Idaho. Uh, I think it's a slap in the people's face of Idaho. Uh, that we haven't finished our business, that we haven't given property tax relief, uh, that we haven't done a lot of things that need to be done for the benefit of our citizens, and the senator votes no. During an AARP town hall this afternoon, I messaged in to Governor Brad Little asking if he wanted to see the legislature wrap up. He had a short and sweet response. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's a very, very uh, um, quick answer, too. So, all right. I think, but, and I think they do, too. <laughs> I believe there we're, we're about exactly where we were yesterday. We just have to, to take some time to work the logistics of running the last few bills through. House Speaker Republican Scott Bedke tells me, despite concerns from some lawmakers, he believes the legislature is getting very close to essentially finishing. If everything goes as planned, we'll finish up the floor work uh, either by late this afternoon or first thing tomorrow morning, then we plan on going at recess, unpaid recess. The plan for now is for lawmakers to come back early next week, giving the governor time to take action on vetoing any newly passed legislation. Lawmakers could then react and wrap up next week. However, there is a belief that lawmakers may not formally end the session at that point. Instead, they would recess unpaid with the possibility that they could come back before the end of the year. Keep in mind, this is a redistricting year and the federal government, the, you know, the census is not in and those numbers are not in. And if they don't come in on time, then that, that will cause some problems as we redistrict the state. And so there's probably some good reasons why we should uh, keep the door open or cracked at least until uh, later this fall. For Senate Democrats, it's simply wait and see. They say previous timelines given to them by the majority have simply fallen through as of late. We've been listening to the people and it doesn't, it, regardless of location in Idaho, regardless of party, people are pretty frustrated with the lack of um, urgency to get our business done and how it's prolonged at taxpayer expense. All right, Joe, we've seen a lot of half day uh, sessions, half day, half session days, I guess you call it, but actually doing stuff. Half day uh, work days there at the state house this year, but right now after five, still kind of going at it, right? Oh yeah, the House and the Senate are still working hard and a real sign, for example, on the Senate side that they're planning on working deep into the night.
The announcement was is that the Idaho Senate was going to get some pizza here in the next half hour or so, which would really be an indicator that they want the lawmakers to stay there, have dinner, not leave the Capitol and come back and work through the evening. Over on the House side, I know that they're talking through some important issues. I just wanted to add something from Speaker Bedke, Brian, that some of these pieces of legislation that were introduced in committee as recently as a few hours ago, they aren't going anywhere and they actually will be not be making it out of committee. Sometimes you're going to go ahead and print an RS as a bill so that it's a jumping off point, he says, for next year and so that the legislation is available to the public to review until next year. So not so much an empty gesture, but a gesture nonetheless. And I mean, here we are, 115. Why not just go for the all-time record? Why settle for third or second place, right? Well, I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there who probably can tell you why. Like, this might be a reason why.